driving home after we finish this round. It's, it's five hours from home this and it's gonna be one hell of a long way thinking about that 17th hole. We salute you golf ball, you did us proud. I'm gonna hit three wood, get as close as I can because I don't think I get the green side trapped and it leaves me an easy pitch. Let's go. Go team. Team on one. Wait. Which tees are they playing in the old course pro am? Uh, green tees. Green tees, yeah. we'll do that today. I, I, I was fortunate I played in it last year. Yeah. Great event, obviously the first yeah. uh, first year of it. Yeah. And when did you and finish the top three? Eight. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bottom three. Bottom three. <laughs> so we've got down to King's Barnes Golf Club. It's uh, home of the Dunhill Lynx. One of the courses, obviously St Andrews and Carnoose to the others, but also one of the three courses that we're going to be playing in the old course Pro-Am. They play off the green tees, as we heard Gary say. So we're going to go off those today. I think it's about 6,400 yards from there. So we'll give it a go. It's a little bit chilly this morning. Wind's a little bit calm, but have a little putt now. I've had a few shots already on the range and um, let's see if we can uh, follow the success of last time. The only stat that I wish I would have improved on would be my fairways. I think it was 57%. My greens in regulation and um, up and down percentage were really good from here. Obviously, we had a pretty good score there, so you're not really going to find too many holes in that one. But if we can follow the same sort of pattern today, I think just got to get that driver a bit straighter I'm just struggling I think see episode one was great front nine back nine struggled just going to try and keep it a little bit more in play and I think we should be uh, off to a winner but off we go first hole it's uh, 390 off the greens bunkers 266 and 280 down the right hand side what's what's that in the distance what are we looking over to there uh, can you see um... right Pretty much that. That's your line. Yeah. 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 But wow. now they open up there, you could see the marquees. Can you? Yeah. Wow. Very faint, but. Yeah. Impressive. Right then, let's see if we can put a score together. Ah, a little bit cutty. Should be okay in the rough, but it's not the best. Not an ideal drive, but I've only got 120 the flags over this little knoll here. I'm going to be a tad blind as I do approach it and it's front, front left the flag. So I've got a lot of room. I've just got to make sure I get it up because Shy is a big pot bunker. So it's 120 flag, but I'm going to play it almost as if it's 140 and let it Just turn in from there. A little bit of a loose drive. I didn't realise how windy it was up here. 125. Yeah, I think go wedge. That should be really good. It is really good. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my God, it's got up to 10 feet and then it's spun down the front of the green. I think if that's gone up another yard or two, it would have been stayed on 10 feet, but we'll take it. It's not the worst start we've ever had. And I can hold a 30 foot putt. Let's keep it going. That is a uh, stinky, stinky pin position. No wonder it's uh, come rolling back there. You can see how much of a slope actually is. It's pitched in at 10 foot and then just trickled back down. I know one thing's certain, it's uphill. Uphill, a bit of right to left in it. Quite the slope, crikey. I think that's one thing I've got to be wary of today. You can't just hit willy nilly into greens, you've got to get in the right spots because there's quite a bit of undulation on them. Wow. I've bolted it up the hill and not seen any break. That's foxed me a bit. Not the first putt we wanted. I 
I'll take lots of those today, just holding it with confidence. That's a somewhat nervy start, but it's a four nonetheless. This is one of my favorite looking holes out on the course. You start to look back down almost round the corner to uh, St. Andrews, but what a view that is. The flag is 183 today. It's a uh, no slouch of a par three, that, especially with a left to right wind as well. It's right in the back corner. So I think 183 downhill is playing like 177, but that wind and the cold is probably adding 10. So I'm gonna hit a six iron up the left of the green and hopefully it starts to feed back towards the flag. Now turn, hit it wind. Should be back middle. Yeah, pretty solid shot there. It's all about controlling the flight today because the wind's going to pick up. And if you just loose with it, it'll sweep the ball off into anywhere where it wants to go, which wouldn't be ideal. They couldn't have got that pin any further to the back, could they? It's nearly on the, uh, on the old wall. Serious undulation here. It's uh, gonna come in from round here. You start to get up a little bit of a tear there. Probably could have hit one more. I didn't really give that everything. I wasn't wanting it to get up into the wind too much. It's on the dance floor, which is the main, main job. Definitely gonna swing. Cozy this up, tap it in, move on. That's the order of play. Stay high, stay high. Oh, slow down, Jesus. Oh my God. That was, I don't know why. I just love bogeying this hole. But today I'm gonna to hold a beauty and not do that. That was monumentally fast. I think I under or overestimated the distance there. Pushed it. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Maybe left myself a bit too much work, but that first putt was horrendous. Just whacked it as if it was a flat putt. It's gonna really bank off that slope, but only two holes in. There's plenty more golf to be played. I think the mantra for this season is just confidence and stay calm. So the um, third hole here is stunning. You get looks over the coast. And then it's a par five, just sweeping all the way along. It's 477 yards today, straight into the teeth of the wind. So it's probably playing the best part of about 550 this. Need a good drive up the left, stay clear of any form of beach activity. And then see if we can just plod along from there. I have gone super protective and gone hella left there. I'm up on the fourth fairway, which is good, but that was very protective golf swing, that. I didn't trust it whatsoever. Didn't trust it. Be an interesting one down now. Get a nice view at least. Big slope, that one. Blowing a little bit. We've got, I mean, what a view. Any form of golf that's by an ocean and you're dead close to it is just fantastic, regardless of where you are. I've got 290 here. There is a bunker that guards the green, which I think starts at about 260. It's funny, it's told me that the ocean on my uh, watch is 95 yards away and it's going for 400 yards in play. The bunker, like I say, 260, the big, or 256 even, the big worry here is obviously the wind, we're up on top now, so anything that's going up is getting pushed left, so I don't think I'm going to get there. Mind you, forward. The only worry is losing it left, right. It does come out flat. I think hybrid gets it up in the air too much. I think I play down the left with this, and that'll be 
quite a flat shot with this club comes out very low well I couldn't have done a better job than that big bounce go on big bounce perfect back in the fairway giving myself about 90 yards there that is playing one heck of a way that 250 up to that traps probably closer to 300 today with that wind and how cold it is but we're safely in play little wedge now and try and do the business right we're back in a1 position 67 yards up to that flag it's a little front knocker again winds into got the new wedges they were working well for me at the dukes let's see this is where i need to capitalize on these sort of ones get this in i think i'm going to play it try and keep it down ever so slightly because that wind's still into so it's playing almost like a 75 yard shot really this one go on keep coming looks about eight feet it was <coughs> a tiny bit pulled and got <laughs> a bit of divot in the mouth but not a bad result not a bad result the uh the tiny bit of fear came in the fairways are that immaculate here that pitching off them they're nice and tight you get the old oop don't don't fat it don't thin it but managed to keep my mind clear of what i wanted to do then which was good i've been quite impressed this season with my uh, my wedge work we're getting better i think getting better this working at my game it's paying off a bit Go a bit right to left this one by the looks of it this would be nice if we could nick one here oh, just a bit pacey on every putt today if i would have kept my original line that would have been straight in the meat i hit it exactly where i wanted mm, a bit annoying after that forward and wedge shot but it's a par it's okay I'll take that on a wind that's a hole that's into the wind and see threatening just got to keep going keep staying confident that's the moral of today's story don't let anything get to you one shot at a time and all those sayings and whatnot and if not we'll just get angry and enjoy the scenery 389 the uh the fourth hole's playing down and off the right the wind it's sort of a raised dog leg this one bunkers all down the right starting at 217 and going probably 20 30 yards shy of greenside and then we've obviously got that big fall off where the other hole was so i think just down the center should be a pretty safe shot if i get one hit nicely with this driver we could get sort of 20 30 yards away with this wind today but i think my main priority is just to get it in play it's been slightly disobedient thus far keep turning keep turning perfect down the fairway running up to near the last trap i think hopefully it doesn't get in it just the shot i actually had in my mind there it's amazing what happens when you believe in yourself and not doubt and actually have a clear plan of what you're meant to be doing crazy game isn't it right onwards we go just shy of that um trap which is good would have maybe have liked to have been on the fairway we are in the first cut but it's pretty much like a fairway anyway but it's uh, only 25 yards up to the front but the pins at the back which is it's like a 65 yard shot but with this wind going down and the green being quite flattish just need to get it on and let it run a bit more like a putt i think i'll go 55 just to try and get a bit of spin just to not let it trundle too much but land it maybe three or four paces 
onto the green and uh, it should then hopefully have a few skids and get somewhere up there it is close to the back we've just got to trust the process again look at it run now look at it run ah, just a bit shy caught it maybe a bit too clean wanted it to go maybe three or four maybe three yards on there and I think that would have been stone dead but worst thing I could have done there is gone a bit aggressive and gone off the back of the green because that would have been one hell of a chip I was aiming for a bit more round here just to get that a little spurt on but it it grabbed a little bit quicker than I wanted and landed short but we've got a look at it we can roll this in comment down below for me where four holes in what do you think score's going to be after those first few holes how am I looking be nice be kind what do you reckon he'll be doing it today right tiny bit of right to left in this but the wind's pushing it down at the flag so it's not going to move as much really hmm bit tentative after my last few attempts of running them by could have maybe done more with that drive but pars are good keep ticking them off keep the ship steady I think consistency as well this year is what we want sort of just rolling along no crazy fireworks well they're always fun for, for you guys to watch but not for my health this is an interesting hole the uh the fifth it's a dog leg from left to right and a, a blind one down to the green off the tee there's a bunker at 162 and then the next one comes into play at 247 you almost want to lay it up to there and then go down because you can't really see what's beyond and i'm not too sure about knocking it there so hit it up to that that only leaves me like 100 yards in so i think 247 in this downwind today the fairways are pretty firm as well i reckon i could hit a five iron that's a, a 200 club it's gonna make sure it's shy i think if i crunch four iron i'm risking that trap in the distance so we'll go five iron get it in the uh in the fairway and leave myself a wedge and that is A1 my friend straight down the centre that was a great strike that I tell you what I'm actually quite liking life in a graphite shaft at the minute it's very enjoyable feels good sounds good and seems to be performing very much the same as my previous steals so five well four holes in now just teed off on five scores currently one over I'm very happy with irons hitting them nicely um, hitting the greens obviously wedge is pretty decent could have been a little bit better on that last one driver again i just need to get under control leaked one right hit one left and then hit one straight down the middle perfect so if we could just get somewhere near that last drive doesn't have to be as good as that every time but just sort of that level of consistency i think will be all right put in I'm a little bit tentative, the greens are a bit quicker than I expected really. Um, they're very similar to the ones that we had on the putting green. But I'm just a little bit, maybe a little bit of early round nerves. But we'll keep going, we'll keep fighting and get playing some good golf. Well that was about the perfect layup. I've got 119, I've stayed shy of this trap. I think the flag's going to be a little bit... You know, on 17 actual flag winds down and off the right more this way than anything I'm gonna hit a 50 because this green's quite slopey a lot of tears in it just got to make sure I get up and also if I hit a 50 I don't want to spin it too much and get it ripping back down so I think a three-quarter little cut 50 keeps me in a good spot I towed it slightly and pulled it State, 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 state. 
Looks like it's just staying on the right level there, which is a bonus. Right. Straight up the hill. Tiniest bit of right to left in this one. Let's see if we can get this bad boy firing. Oh, there we go. It's the first one of the day. It's a three, it's a bird. Back to level par, folks. Let's keep this show rolling. So the six hole here, 309 yards off the green. Gorgeous, overlooking a lot of the course until you turn onto the back nine. You can see Crail in the distance. Good views out behind me, but let's get to business. 309, it's a drivable one. You've just got to get it over a bunker at like 230, and then it will feed down to the green. It's 280 to the front, so forward. See if we can sneak it on with this. Oh no, I've towed the absolute life out of it. It's in the gorse left. I've seen it bounce twice, so I think we're just going to be okay there. Not ideal, but hey ho, you live and learn. You live and learn. Right, this is. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Bit of a hit and hope. We've only got. We've got 20 yards over to the flag here. Um, it's more a case of what can I do swing-wise with this, because it comes up here and then runs down. I think if I can just get a bit of a punch and get it somewhere on there, we have got a backstop. It's a case of what, what can we do? I think if I play it a bit more like a bunker shot, I can go out to the right and left and just aim the face maybe a bit more i'll take a little less loft just to get a bit more distance with this but just caught it on the way back and it just killed me there that was nearly good at least we've got a bit of an easier shot for my next one right that's the problem with holes like that risk and reward you get pin high at 300 but there's a lot of trouble around the green so now we face a tough little one That'll do about three feet we'll take that after a bit of bushwhacking well it's a four an adventurous one but it's a four Right, the seventh hole is 431 yards, a bit of a raised fairway, one of the other fairways for, I think, is that 16 down on the left? It's down there, but you want to stay up the right. Just use the wind today. Stroke one, this one, four, four, 430. Should be okay. We've got a nice bit of momentum going. We've just got to keep trusting what we're doing. more what we want straight down the middle you can come again Angus good luck charm <laughs> right um, good drive down there it's just trickled off into the semi a lot of the fairways here are banking so you'll try and play to certain parts but uh, it's not, not the end of the world we've got one 115 to the flag down the wind so I'm just gonna hit a 50 just try and knock it down ever so slightly not let it get too caught up it is a raised green as well so pretty similar shot to what we're hitting on five i would say be a good number i think it's going to be pretty good it was right at the flag and going so that's handy so like I said earlier, this is one of the courses that we're going to be playing in the Pro-Am, which is uh, run by the old course hotel at St Andrews, obviously very iconic there. Um, we play here, we play the Dukes, if you haven't seen that course yet, check out episode one. And then we're going to Dunbarney, which will be coming later in the series, but might not be for everyone, but there is a link in the info in the bio down below to check it out. It was a, a great event last year. And I'm looking forward to uh, to getting up here and actually playing in some form of competition this year. It's been a been a while, so we'll see how we can cut our teeth in that in September. 
we've just pulled up on the tier here which is a little bit annoying but hey ho pulled up a bit quicker than one thought that but on greens this good you can roll anything in tiny bit of left to righty little push again I think I need to go for a putting lesson I've got the pushes or an offset putter will do me it's another par ticked off though it's not a not a bad round of golf just stressless at the minute which is what we like just need a few more birdies eighth hole gorgeous one this one par three down the hill interesting green as well it's got a massive bank off to the left and the uh, the green sits probably like seven or eight feet below as well there but we're up on the right today it's 140 yards downhill downwind gonna go with 50 i think it's just a nice three quarter one of these hopefully i mean a hole in one here i don't think i'd finish the round i'd just go in job done Oh no, I've pushed it, pushed the life out of that, get short, kick left. I think we're going to be in a uh, little trap there. It was like missing my mouth with a spoon. Not ideal. A little bit fortunate here, pulled up shy of the trap. If we would have got it online, probably would have got a better bit of feed towards the flag, but just going to bump it onto the fringe and let it trickle down the slope now little bit of left to right in it and let it just feed get right get right get right yeah that is quick that is seriously quick down there I thought I played that well Woo. sneaky sneaky right didn't really move a lot on the way past that one so a little bit up the hill a little bit of wind off the right so i think a bit of pace and straight it's uh it falls in pushed it again that's four pushes this round oh dear shouldn't be making a bogey with a wedge in my hand but plenty more golf to be played and when you've got a view like that it doesn't really matter just soak it in and enjoy it. Right, the ninth hole is 500 yards hitting straight back towards the clubhouse. Well, it is a little dog leg left to right, but just pan yourself around and take in what is a beautiful view. Could almost just stand here and not play golf today. It's uh, one heck of a hole, this. One heck of a hole. Let's get it down there. See what we can do. Down the middle, just right of the post. Hopefully that's one of one of four on this hole. It's uh, 245 up to the centre, we're into the wind. There is a bunker greenside at 223, and then one at 235 as well. So I think I'm just gonna go a little bit left and let it cut back on, hopefully. With this wind, I think squeezing it on, I think we'll just chase it up on here. Let's get that done. End this nine nicely. Oh my God, what is that? Oh! That was a weird shot. Um, do you reckon? Tenth fairway. We'll hit a provisional just in case. That was a... I absolutely minted that out the middle as well then. That was weird. It's up there, still a tiny bit left, but nowhere near as bad as the first one. Interesting one, that. Don't really have much to say about it. It was indifferent. Well, a little bit off the beaten path here, um, just 50 yards left of the fairway luckily that's 10 here and we're we're not too bad we are back into the wind we've got 87 yards now so i'm just gonna knock a 50 in there's a 
bit of an upslope behind the flag so if we can get beyond it it might come back down so I can be a wee bit aggressive here and just get it get it on maybe take birdie my, my provisionals in good shape softly and back down yeah not too bad from where I am I'll take it I've got about 25 foot for birdie it looks like it's when I saw the ball mid flight after my uh, forward I was seeing the number six and seven as where a four or five now will, will go nicely some view eh some view it's gonna be sneaky down the hill here a little bit of right to left in it see if we can box off nine with an adventurous birdie get there Matthew <sighs> perfectly online but under hit well it's a par it's a par Ugh. onwards we go onwards just enjoyed a lovely ham and cheese panini there at the old bunker bar um, we've had nine holes now uh, one over par summary I would say driving has got better as the rounds gone on my iron play has been pretty good I've hit nine green uh, eight greens out of the nine just that one wedge where I made bogey and um, putting I think has been the aspect that's let me down a three put and a couple of pushes and just maybe a few wasted opportunities but overall pretty happy with how the day is going so far if we can just settle down now keep the swing going and just maybe drop a few in who knows we could have a, another episode that might get into the red let's uh let's keep fighting guys Tenth hole now is 366 yards. We're sort of going further out this side away from the clubhouse. The other nine is pretty much over that way as well. We go right down onto the coast now, which is going to be a treat this nine holes for you. As long as I'm playing some good golf. Driver out. Let's get it down there. Let's keep the momentum going. It's a bit up the right. has kicked left ever so slightly it'll be in amongst the humps but shouldn't be too bad it'll be actually a good look at the flag from there but let's keep it going now if you chew that it's like licorice not really right we've been a little bit fortunate found a spot of goo we've got 100 103 to the middle but it only looks like about 70 to the flag no 95 interesting this is an interesting hole looking back on that i probably wouldn't hit driver again because you only really need to get it to the post and get it into that bowl so maybe a an iron a hybrid and then it's not not getting too tight because that's the narrowest part of the fairway there but lessons learned that'll come in handy for a another round 95 to the flag it is on the upslope but we're on the same level this green's a little bit crazy so i'm going to play a little bit right of the flag and it should should swing in from there 55 a three quarter little punchy sort of shot sit oh wow that is absolutely flew down the wind there that's right at the back of the green it's working its way back down a bit but just recheck that that's flown like 115 that yeah here's 95 just wind and it's pumped but onwards we go well this is where i was trying to land my ball here and let it feed down this big shoulder luckily i'm on the right side of the green and none of this is coming into play for me but we've got probably the best part of 80 feet back to the flag into the wind it's one hell of a green complex this it's 
massive pretty straight it's gonna go off that way but then it goes comes off the shoulder left to right and then goes back a little bit right at the end settle now settle now settle now settle now ah! that looked like it was gonna go downtown for a moment there it did look good just a couple of feet by but from that distance we are very very happy with just a little tapping we'll take that it was a, a scrappy hole but a par nonetheless very happy with that two put that would have been very easy to three put from there but we've escaped so on to the 11th good hole this one to our 11th hole is 400 yards what we've got to be aware of is this a couple of traps one at 205 to clear one 278 there is an extra one in there now um, on the right that's 278 as well so oh, downwind I think a hit driver up the left and even if you end up in the rough on the left it's gonna be okay smash this down leave myself a little wedge in and try and try and get it going should clear the traps with the with the wind helping left of the traps but it's gonna be absolutely fine there just pitched in the hill I think and kicked a bit right I don't mind that's a it's a, a whole way you could easily cock up on this one there is the world to the left and there is out of bounds down the right with the hole uh, with the road running a lot sorry the wall running along so even though it's not in the fairway I'm actually pretty happy with that 90 yards to this one downhill out of this rough it is like I say it's not too bad here so it's uh, 69 to the front but 90 to the middle so it's rah, I've just zapped and it's 80 to the flag so I just need a, a little knock down a little knock down 55 here and let it just bounce up be good be good release up the hill get in the hole get in the hole Oh, it's about two feet away, he's just gone round the back of the hole as well. Oh, crikey. This game. Oh, that was brilliant. I tell you what, my wedge play is definitely coming on of late. Definitely getting an improvement. Right. It's actually gone a tiny bit further past the hole than I thought. I've just been totally spooked by that hanging plastic uh, bird of prey there to keep the... Uh, the crow's off the off the green it freaked me out I didn't know what it was keeps the uh, the others coming on the greens and digging them up that anyway it's not an Ashenborough show it's hopefully the birdie show in a different kind of manner now there we go the birdie we wanted the birdie we wanted hopefully that starts the fire and we roll a few more in over the next few holes because these next few are probably my favorite stretch on the golf course here when you just turn the corner here coming out onto uh, 11 from 12 you just are greeted by an absolutely stunner of a view out overlooking the sea crail in the distance you can see the flag for uh, 12 in the distance it looks miles away it's actually only about 500 but a beautiful stretch of the coast this 538 is the uh, the 12th hole the par 5 dog leg right to left there's a bunker at 377 that sort of gives you a good aim point the fairway drops then sweeps around the bay Whew. it's a wee beauty oh I'm so happy I've hit that down the middle On some way as well that that is proper flown Whew. right off we go off we go hello baby i'm gonna have about 200 up to the middle pumping it out about 330 340 down the wind today 
and into wind I've done all right so drivers getting there just need to get that shape that confidence just to hit that draw every time just trust it get the feeling locked in and we're good because then it makes the game a hell of a lot easier when you're going in with a couple of clubs less because you've hit a good drive what a view eh this is I think if I was making my favourite holes in Scotland I think this would be the 12th hole I would probably put in there because it is an absolute beauty so good so good oh, slap bang in the centre 200 plate there 180 flag 180 flag downwind and it's one 175 to the front 180 down the wind I'd say this is probably a two club win today two to three so 180 is a seven iron am I hitting a nine iron here am I really hitting nine iron 200 down the middle 180 take it off it's playing third no we'll hit a little we'll hit a little eight just because that then at least gets me by the flag if I don't quite catch it don't be don't drink your kool-aid too much Matthew just uh be cautious got to stay right at the flag here because there's a horrible bunker down the left hand side so just to fade off the flag is what we're going for Please be the yardage. It is the yardage. Swinging a little left now. Job done, we've got about 30 feet. Pin high that looked. That was very well. Well planned out that. I was thinking nine because I think no, you just smashed driver, but got a factor in if you don't quite get it. The pin's on the front, so I'd be left with a sneaky chip up the hill. So at least I've knocked it on now. And even if I did absolutely crunch it, I'd still have green to go by. So that's something hopefully you can take from, from this video, folks. If not, just look at the views. Right. I say 30 feet. My eyes aren't that good from 200 feet, 200 yards, because we've got about 25 feet, maybe a little less here. Just pitched up front. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but if this went in, oh. I might just charge into the old ocean over there. Look at that for a view. Mega. Mega. Right. Just gonna have a bit of right to left in this one. Falling back to the ocean. It's more the initial part of the putt really, because here there's a bit of bank, but then it starts to, to flatten out a little bit. Turn him. Just shy. I think it would have missed just high side, but we'll take uh, we'll take tapping birdies. That's back to back. Woo! Boys coming in hot. Quite enjoying this uh, season so far. I've not spent loads of rounds where I've been like 15 over par, so it's been a uh, quite a nice time for me. Not to say that the last one wasn't, but when you were nine over and eight over after 12s, it was feeling like a bit of a sham, but hey, we're doing it. We're on to the next. Stay focused, believe in the process. Off we go. Just taking in the views there. Old Instagram, you know, follow me. Put that there now. Anyway, 13th hole. It's actually only, it says 103. Looks like it's longer than that though. Even though it's 103, it is one that is not to be messed with. Yeah, it's not 103. It's 140. Still on the other hole there. Let's just change quickly. Yeah, 137. What was it? 141 flag from here. 140 flag, 137. Down the hill. Bunkers short all along the right side of the green one left. So that 140 is into the wind. We've just seen the eight irons gone. You know, the best part of 200 yards. So I think what normally would be an eight iron at 160, I think a, 
a little knocked down out here, a little punchy one is probably going to be the order of play for this one. A little punched cut here. This would be a nice place to get a hole in one. Now just drop onto the flag. Drop on. I am loving life at King's Barns. We've got about 15 foot for birdie it looks like. I'll tell you what, I am golfing my ball up here in Scotland this week. I am golfing my ball. I am a happy, happy little camper. Let's get down and see if we can hold some putts, baby. We are uh, doing all right here. What have we got? Probably the best part of 14 feet there. So proximity is uh, it's getting good, it's getting good with the irons. Let's see if we can heat this putter up. Mm, misread that. Misread, I hit it where I wanted and it actually broke right to left. That's the first one where my reeds let me down. But doesn't sound like a long hole, but when you've ever got an elevated par, par three and you're hitting down onto the green, controlling that fly is key because the wind whipping, it can just take it off in many weird and wonderful directions. So take a three out of there, move on. Keep this back nine ticking along. The 13th hole is a par four that is 336 yards. Again, you're like back up on top now, so you can really feel that wind whipping everything over to the right there is like the 12th hole but everything's been pushed there today we've got a couple of bunkers on this hole which is where we don't want to be 211 the first one down the right then the closer up to the green 253 on the left and uh, then we get into some green side ones so i think the best play is to make sure we cover this first one and then leave it shy of the second um so I'll probably hit something just down the left, maybe 211 into the wind. I think I'll probably just hit three wood up the left. Make sure I get by this trap. Yeah, because drive is going to end up getting up too much as well. This will go a bit flatter. It will fade down the left. Perfect. Moving on to that last bunker. I hope it's not got enough to... No, it's not got enough to get there. Perfect. Fairway found, job done. We move on. The three would work to treat there, just left it shy of that 254. So it's probably got about 244 like into the wind, which is quite nice. Leaves me just a, a 55 degree wedge now. There's a bit of a slope uh, beyond the pin here and there is a bunker shy, so I can be a bit more aggressive, try and fly it sort of about 90 to come back to 85, hopefully. He says, acting as if he can play the game. 55, come on. I'm not going to do that with a little toe strike. That was sloppy. I got the spin I wanted, but... Uh, that's, that's a let down there. Should have been a bit more aggressive. Just quit on it slightly. And it's um, left me now with about 25 feet. Bit annoyed by that one, but... Hey ho, gotta just take it and move on. Right, it's pitched probably for four or five yards. Oh no, it's only pitched up here. God, where? Anyway, it's uh, below the hole at least, so I've got an, an uphill putt, but uh, I would have liked to have pitched it four or five beyond the flag and let it zip back because everything falls back down to the front here but can only work with what you've got so now got about 20 22 feet i would say maybe for for birdie it's a little bit left to right up the hill like i say is the main concern about this one see if we can pinch one here before we get onto the brilliant 15th
Is it going to fall? That is, I was just about to scream, we've pinched it, but needed that much more. <laughs> that is, that's frustrating. Two shots under hit. Ah, oh, hey ho, it's a par again. We're, we're cruising along nicely this back nine, so just keep it going. 15 though. This is one hole, wait till you get onto this one. It's going to be a real spectacle, I would say. It's a serious, serious golf hole. Like when you come off 11 to 12, that walk's amazing. And then when you come off 14 down onto 15, you're just greeted by the ocean. You're sort of getting a glimpse of what's about to happen. You can see all the different tees and you can just see the green sort of jutting out as you start to bow around the corner. This place is it's an iconic hole. This would probably, I would say, be hole number 15 for me if I made my my favourite holes in Scotland as well because it is just just brilliant. Depending what score you have, it's just a joy even just walking down onto here. It, you know, I don't really need to say anything, it just sums up itself. What a hole. What a hole. So good. Feels very peaceful as well down here as well. Which is nice. Right, I think it's 161 the hole it plays. Flag looks to be a little bit more front today. So it's actually only one, 140, was that 147 then? Yeah, 147 to the flag. Um, the green sort of sits on an angle, so it's not sort of this way, it's turned, it's long from left to right instead of front to back. So, uh, 147, I could probably, it's wind into off the left, 147. It's probably playing maybe 167, this one. What was the eighth? That was, the 13th was 141 and we hit eight iron. This is 147, but I think it's got a little bit more to it. So I'm gonna go seven iron, because we're not downhill. Again, air up the left here, as you can see. The right hand side is very much good night Vienna. So we'll get a little fade off the left edge and if we get close, that is a serious bonus. If you take two here, you've hit the jackpot. A par is always welcomed. Oh. Travel, travel, please travel, travel. I've just not committed. Well, I have committed, but I just didn't give it enough speed and I just ballooned it up in the air. It's got about pin high, but right, hit the rocks. Game over. Right, learnt my lesson now. I'm gonna go one club up for this next one. I could, you sort of could drop it down there because, well, really it's red stakes, but I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna hit another one. One club more and actually get a little bit of zip on on this one. Just got cardinal sin of balloon in it there. It's always just heart crushing when you hear that clank of the rocks. Right, we've got a club up. Come on. It's over the the tier that the flag's on, it's safely up there. I think seven was the right club, but I say just my first really bad golf swing that, and it was up in the air and nowhere, but what can you do? Got to play the one I've got now, and we go from there. It pitched on some of these round here, and there is no sign of it. It's very much now at home in the ocean. That's where it'll stay. We salute you, golf ball. You did us proud. We've now got a focus because uh, 
we've got one hell of a putt now coming up down a serious tier the green is just massive absolutely massive I've hit like an, an okay iron here I've hit it up the left done the right thing got it on the green but as soon as it gets down here obviously it's down off the wind as well you get to the tier here it is just gonna hump with speed down here flattens out and gets there I think two puts here I'm I'm very happy very happy boy I've got to put it as if the flag was halfway down the slope and then pray after that bit definitely pray Break right, break right, break right, break right, slow, slow. I'm not too displeased with that. That's a pretty good putt. That's a pretty good putt. Leaves me a tester. Hit one, drop two, played three, four. So this is for five. Pretty good pace control down that slope because it was downhill, downwind. It was a, a real rascal putt. Come on, Matt. Let's see what you're made of. I will take a two putt from there. I mean, five's not the score we wanted. It was that dodgy seven iron that's caused it. A double bogey, which, you know, isn't, isn't ideal. Takes us back over par, but three holes to go. That seven iron's probably the only foot we've put out of place thus far. So let's keep going. Let's stay positive. Got a par five and then a good couple of opportunities in 17 and 18 for birdie as well. So. Let's see what we can do. We're on the 16th now. It's uh, 507 yards today. Par five, straight into the teeth. Dog leg left to right. We do have the um, the seventh fairway up to the left as the as well. Obviously, the beach is very much here. So steer left, smash down the left. Hopefully, we can get up in two. And give us a good look at birdie and chase it back down towards that in the red number straight just down the right side yeah fairway found that's part one of the job done not my best strike but a little bit toey so it lacked spin so it's actually done okay oh off we go 275, 275, 255 up to the front. Now, there's going to be a lot of traps along there, which I can see. Got one 10 yards in front of me, or six yards. 188, 205, 222, and 250. Hmm. Is it worth going for? into the wind so I'm not going to get there I'm going to hit three wood get as close as I can because I don't think I get the green side traps and it leaves me an easy pitch let's go go team team on one Woo. come on wind I have absolutely nuked that at the bunkers on the left get out of them good news is it's cleared the 231 it's a little bit left but that came out like an absolute beast should leave me a about a 20 yard pitch that right the game is afoot gentlemen and ladies ladies and gentlemen i think they usually order that one but there we go it's all going off down here those were the bunkers the 250 ones up there so we're just shy of them we've got a obviously they're in the way but they're not too much of an issue really it's just a a 60 degree yeah. throw it over a couple of bounces a little bit of check and a tap in would be a lovely way for this to go pulled it slightly off there. I've got the distance I just pulled it slightly with it being below my feet I was wary of letting it come out soft and right and not getting over but 
we've got another look at birdie just got to heat the putter up now for the last few get the old hair dryer out not been used for a few years in my house that we've got another chance it looks a little left to righty come on matthew now's your time to step up a couple of good strokes down these last few holes no i was bold bashed it through the break oh, that's annoying if i would have just trickled it down the hill that would have been good but That is so annoying. We finished out well though, but left a few to go begging. Left a few to go begging, but two holes to go. We're still hitting it good. Still giving ourselves chances. Let's see if we can make it an epic ending. Very well framed this hole, 17, 408 as a par four. Quite a lot of bunkers and then you sweep up to the green so it's going to be a test it's going to be a test information is key everybody and we have bunkers at 170 177 to clear 191 236 243 284 311 so it's those ones at 240 284 and 311 two of which are left and one is right so i've got the line that wind's whipping out towards the ocean, hence why the tide's out, everyone. When that tide changes, the wind will probably change. I don't know if that's a fact, so don't, uh, don't take that as so. Driver, smash away. Let's get the job done. Come on, birdie here, Matt. Three good swings. That's all you need. That's all you need, boyo. is not one of them get right a bit get right a bit get right a bit it's okay because that bunker at 311 don't think it's going to reach there and it was just a tad right of it so it's not actually too bad just lost that little draw again just seems to come in waves at the minute when i get it it's perfect but when i don't i get this little push fade which it's not the worst shot in the world and to be fair compared to last season it's not putting me in, in anywhere near as, tr as much trouble nor making me lose as much distance so we'll keep working at it we'll keep going i think hopefully everyone can notice a little bit of a difference in my game thus far i'm quite happy with how we're going just got to keep it going baby nearly fell over Nearly got pulled away. Right, we've got 158 to the centre. This one, you rise straight up to the green here. So, you know, got to get the club in spot on. Into off the left, 150 uphill. So that's going to go 160. Into the winds, add in another 10, 15. I think we just hit a little six iron just on the safe side. Just because... There's nothing for being short here. If I'm short, it's coming back down the slope. Then it's just a world of pain as well. There's quite a bit of room beyond this flag, so slightly left of it. Let the wind hopefully nudge it and see what we end up with. Luckily, it's gone absolutely nowhere because off balance, I've pulled it 20 yards left of the green. And it's just gone straight up in the air. That was so awkward on the stance. I just couldn't get comfortable over that ball. If I'm a couple of yards back, it's a completely different golf shot, but just shows you've got to face what you're, uh, you're dealt. And now we've got tricky up and down. We could chip it in though. Let's see. Wow. We're not actually that shy of pin high off the front here, but you can see the severity of the slope. So that's why clubbing is imperative there, but now we've got an interesting one because it sort of sweeps down. We've got a, well, I have to go and inspect the green really because 
it's on a little ledge up at the top with a bowl in front so it's all about where I land this one if you're landing it round here it's going to sort of come round this way I would say take a journey along here if not it's off into that bowl and good night Vienna interesting shot we're about to have to play here strap yourself in folks this is gonna get naughty I think I've got the shot in mind that I want to play 50 sort of back of the stance landing it a couple of yards on probably maybe six or seven paces left of the flag and it will just bank right from there it will seriously turn one thinks oh, I've overdone it Matt that is just pure pure <sighs> it's so annoying that is just heavy-handed it's not even on the green now I was stood over it and thought mm, is 50 a little bit too much because it'll drive a little bit too much and now it's just that is silly I was thinking change to 55 no this is right it needs to get running and then I've just thumped it through we need a chip in oh, that's annoying what a brute of a golf hole <sighs> chip it in come on Don't go down the front. Oh my God. It's not stopped yet. I thought that was gonna bite into the wind then. I don't feel like I've really done anything massively wrong here, but I've Fallen at the last fence, I'm afraid. That hit the hole then as well. Yeah, of course it did. Uh, I've been made to look a fool. I've been made to look a fool. That first chip was just so bad. Right, get that out of your head quickly. You've got a job to do. Up the hill. Nothing really in it. Say that. The drama's not over yet, folks. The, dra <laughs> the drama's not over yet. Hmm. It's a lovely hole. Really like it. It's probably one of the best looking holes on the course as well, this. And now it's going to scar my mind for forever. Well, that's a six, folks. What a, what a hack session that was. What a hack session that was. Not the ending I wanted that. I was thinking, you know, great up and down, birdies the last. It's a good score. Three over par now. Let's go and hole out on here. Let's make a one and a par four. That's a shame. Oh well. The 18th hole's a lovely one, overlooked by the uh, clubhouse. Bit of a blind drive and then you pitch over a little brook or a burn to a funky green. 383 yards. Let's see, let's see what we can do here. Let's finish in style, hopefully. Just figure out how far that water is as well. 340, it is off the tee, so I'll hit three or just to be safe. Let's hit three wood. Driving home after we finish this round. It's it's five hours from home this and it's gonna be one hell of a long way thinking about that 17th hole. That should be A1 I reckon. Little bounce down there, we'll take that. Feel deflated. 
in now. It's in now. Off we go. Well, we've uh, we've whipped that one down there. I was just wishing that you know the pitch would have meant something in. Maybe had a pup for birdie to get in the red, but it's just the way it goes sometimes. Just the way it goes. Nice shot though. Played a lot of good golf today. Very, very happy with it. Just those two doubles really. When you think that's uh, what's been the downfall. The rest of it's all been really, really smart. Right, 60 degree, 65 yards. One last roll of the dice, come on. End on a, on a high. We've got a chance for birdie. We've got a good look at it. <sighs> Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've absolutely loved playing here. I can say one of the courses in the Pro-Am, so excited to be back up here in September. Hopefully I can rectify my mistakes on 15 and 17 that day, but what a place, what a golf course. We'll have this little putt. Big thank you to Kings Barnes for uh, letting us come down today. If you've enjoyed it, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you in the next episode coming very soon. Pushed it, no committed. Ah, oh, that's a shame that ended sour. It ended sour for me, but guys, truly loved it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.